Hi, I'm Richard Clure, leader of Wiltshire Council. I wanted to take uh, an opportunity to update you all on, on the progress and the work that we are doing as an authority um, to address uh, climate change and, and to reduce carbon emissions. If we look at what we've done as a council, we've taken an, an approach that, that we want to see emissions reduced, but we also want to do it in a way that's affordable, that, that, that in essence, the investment we make in reducing carbon is more than paid for by the savings that we achieve as a result. So we've reduced our carbon emissions by 80% since 2015, most of that over the past two or three years. Um, and that's through a combination of, of more efficient buildings, work that we're doing to improve the energy efficiency of our buildings, to improve renewable gen energy generation on our buildings, um, and also moving to a contract to make sure that all the energy that we are using is being supplied from a, a genuinely green source, so genuinely renewable source. We're also looking to make improvements with uh, the, the other areas under our control. So council housing is the next big area that we control. We have a retrofit program for all of our council houses underway, almost 5,500 properties. It's going to take 12, 13 years to do, um, and it will bring all, all of our properties to an EPCB rating. To get to an EPCAA, I'm afraid you'd have to knock a number of them down. It simply wouldn't be cost effective to do it. But that will not only significantly reduce carbon emissions, but it will also take a large, large group of some of our most vulnerable residents out of fuel poverty by massively reducing the amount they've got to pay for energy because of re renewable energy generation on site and a, a fabric first approach that significantly reduces the amount of energy they, they need to consume. All of our new council house building, where we're building it, is being built to a zero carbon standard. Um, we're trying to use mod modular construction there where we can. It's much easier in rural areas to do so. Hopefully, government will be changing uh, planning policy across the country to ensure that all, all, um, all new housing is built to a zero carbon standard, but we're leading the way with the housing under our control. We've also been putting together our, our climate strategy. Um, that. Um, has been consulted on, will be coming back to full council um, to, to be discussed on, and then to be implemented. And that is looking at, at, at the wider issues of how we decarbonise transport and make sure we've got the appropriate infrastructure in place to deal with electric vehicles. Um, cars are a part of Wiltshire, I'm afraid. We're a rural county. There's no way of getting rid of them. We won't be able to move around. Our economy will collapse if we don't have them. Um, so we need to support cars as they decarbonise. We need to support our residents um, as they look to retrofit their own homes and put renewable energy sources into them. That's not easy. At the moment, there are apparently in the UK 1,200 people who can put a, a fit an air source heat pump to a building. And if you look at the scale of work that needs to be carried out, it's nothing like enough. But through our own retrofit program, we're making sure that we enable um, Wiltshire College and, and, and other providers to put apprenticeships in place in the knowledge that there will be at least a 10, 12, 13 year scheme of retrofit works uh, and contracts going out to make sure that, that that will be a continuing process. Um, we can't wait for central government to, to, to deal with the last elements of this program. And they're, they're, they're moving there, perhaps a little more slowly than we'd like, but they are moving there. Um, so we're doing everything we can with, with our resources to put that infrastructure in place so that when you or I look to, to retrofit our own housing in three, four years' time, there will be a larger workforce, a more skilled workforce to enable us to do that. So that's an update on where we are so far. There's a long way to go, but as a council, we're very much leading the way, and we're very much committed to decarbonising Wiltshire in a sensible, costed way as soon as we can.